Welcome to BB&J Farms. Uh, today we're talking about goats and how we take care of our goats. And we're gonna end the video with the things that we keep in our goat kit to keep our goats alive when we notice they have a problem in their health. Uh, one thing you'll wanna do with your goats every day is just observe them. Watch how they're walking. Uh, like I will bring them out to an area to feed. I'll have a paddock set up for them. While I'm doing that, I'll turn around and see if one's got a hitch in their giddy up. Uh, a lot of times you'll see like one will have a, a back leg will get kind of slow. And that means they have, they'll probably have a mineral deficiency. That could be a selenium deficiency. Just something subtle like that, you can see it. And any problems, you can nip them in, your, in the bud with the correct stuff in your goat kit. Um, and so the end of the video, we'll talk about that. These goats are Nigerian dwarfs and they are shoulder up feeders. Now their shoulder up isn't very high, but they should be eating like you see right here. Eating leaves off the trees, getting this underbrush cleared down, doing our fireproofing here on the property. Um, when they're out on the pasture eating grass, that's not really their natural deal. Okay, a lot of times goats uh, in the uh, suburban environment end up eating grass out on a field, and that's 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 not where it's at. Goats are shoulder up eaters, uh, and they should be browsing just like this. I bring out a little bit of goat feed. Uh, just to get them to where I want them to go. They're bucket trained, they follow that feed like pit bull on a pork chop. So they, they will, they'll go wherever that feed bucket's going. I get them out here. I mean, each goat should just eat like a little palm full of, of feed, and then they should be browsing on the, on the trees here. Uh, that, that feed's like eating a Snickers bar for a, for a goat. Okay, so, so you want less feed, and more back to nature, all right? Uh, and that's, that's the deal there. Now let's take a look at what's in our uh, goat kit. All right, if you see one of your goats and it, it'll start like isolating itself, uh, or if you see one that gets a little bit of dizzy, they're a little dizzy or something like that, you wanna start acting on that stuff uh, real soon. Um, one of the things that we do is we keep a bunch of the little syringes and then we have a vitamin vitamin B. Uh, there's a vitamin B, um, I'll provide a, a picture of it or a link in the description and it doesn't need to be refrigerated. You shoot them with a little bit of that vitamin B, it can go in a muscle, it can go uh, subcutaneous, it can just, it's easy to shoot in them, uh, and, and it's like half a cc. I mean, very little for these small goats. Um, you have to follow the instructions. It's so much per 100 pounds, and then figure, you know, a goat is 25 pounds. You know, these little goats are too small. Okay, so it's like a little teeny bit. Okay, you hit them with that, and then, depending on what you, what you go, something like this jump start, and neutral drench, uh, follow the instructions on the jump start. You just drench this, just squirt it right in the goat's mouth, the neutral drench. And this is stuff you want to have on hand in case you see one of your goats uh, getting sick. You want to get that as early as possible. The goats will go downhill really fast if you let something go. So you want to be observing them, seeing how they walk, Check it out. If you see something fishy, you know, get on the internet, search it. Your internet searches, put in a uh, goat vomit extension, okay? It'll bring up the peer-reviewed stuff from the uh, universities. <clears throat> that is, is a great way to find information for all of this homesteading, farming, gardening stuff is type in whatever you've got, uh, dizzy goat, extension and then go to the peer-reviewed stuff but a lot of times the vitamin b shot jumpstart neutral there's also a home remedy 
which I use, I think it's a half a cup of strong tea, a quarter cup of, uh, anyhow, I'll put a link in the description. It's strong tea, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of baking soda, and some uh, vegetable oil. And that's another thing that you can get that in there, drench them with that. Soon as you, soon as you see them starting to go downhill, a handful of baking powder, a palm full of baking powder, get that in them, or baking soda, excuse me, baking soda, handful of baking soda, get that in them, uh, be on top of it. Keep your goats off their own manure. Get them moving. Remember, they're shoulder up ears. Like and subscribe if this is the kind of thing you're into, gardening on a budget. Thanks for visiting us today at BB&J Farm.